Good day everyone. So today our lesson is all about painting. So what is painting? Painting is the practice of applying paint, pigment, color, or other medium to an artwork. It is a making a picture, figure, or landscape with the use of brush, knife, sponge, and other implements. Paintings may be done on walls, canvas, wood, glue, lacquer, clay, left, and other materials. So now let's proceed to the importance of Philippine natural and historical places. So first we have here the rice terraces of the Philippines Cordilleras. This is a fruit of hard labor of the Ipugaos by the use of human hands. The Ipugao rice terraces is the most is the famous because of its amphitheater like seating. For 2,000 years, the contours of the mountain are followed by the high-rise fields. Next is the landscape of Batanes. Batanes is a living cultural landscape. The Philippine government declared it a protected landscape and seascape in 1992. Its landscape is distinct from those of other provinces in our country due to its steep cliff, rolling hill, deep canyon, and borderline. Next is the Kalaw Cave. Kalaw Cave is one of the most is one of the limestone caves located in the municipality of Piña Blanca, Cagayan Province. It is a seven-chambered show cave and it's no, it is known as one of the best best natural tourist attractions of the province. Next is the Old Houses of Taal, Batangas. Taal is the municipality in Batangas famous its ancestral houses. Poblacion was declared a heritage town and was designated as a national historical landmark. And next, Turugan in Marawi. The ancestral house of the Mar Maranao Sultan or Dato has a soaring salakut shaped roof, ornate beams, and massive po post, all proclaiming exalted status. The Tonogan is a masterpiece of Filipino craftsmanship. The careful carvings on the Torogan's massive post represent the artistry of Maranao with vigorous culture. Next is the Pawai Church. The Church of San Agustin, commonly known as the Pawai Church. It is the municipality of Pawai in Ilocos Norte. It is construction began in 1694 and finally completed in 1710. It stood earthquakes and, and it's one of the few remaining Baroque churches in the country. So, it is Baroque period time. Miyagaw Church The Miyagaw Church or Church of Santo Tomas de Villanueva in Iloilo was built in 1797. The church stands as li living legacy of the culture and the way of life of people in the area. This was declared as one of the Baroque churches of the Philippines by the UNESCO. Next is the Filipino painters and their work. So let's know the Filipino painters beside their art works. We have Fabian C. De La Rosa. Who is Fabian De La Rosa? Fabian C. De La Rosa is also known as Master of Gentry. He is best remembered for his paintings, landscape, portraits, and everyday scenes of women doing daily activity. So his painting is more focused on landscape and portraits with scenes of women doing daily activities. So one of her works is the 
Riverview of Santa Ana, Los, ba Los Baños. Next is the planting rice, the planting rice and the Marikina Valley. Next painters is Fernando C. Amorsolo. He's the one is the first national artist of Filipino artist, one of the most important artists in the history of Philippine painting. He was a portraitist and painter of rural Philippine landscape in his lifetime. He used natural and backlighting techniques. So, here it is her artwork. Okay, we have here the the Lagang Bukit. Next is the Maiden in Stream. Sunday morning going to town. So, this is one of the work of Fernando C. Amor, Amor Solo. Next painter is Carlo B. Francisco. He is the second national artist in painting. Carlos or Botong Villalus Francisco was the poet of Angono who revived the forgotten art of mural painting. His work is the Bayanihang Bukid, Martirdo, Martyrdom of Brizal, Fiesta, Next is Vicente S. Manansala. He is known as the National Artist in Visual Arts, a Filipino Cubist painter. His talent revealed when he made copies of Sagrada Familia in his mother's portraits from a photograph. He worked as a movie poster painter. He worked as an illustrator at the Cultural Office of Japanese Government. One of his work e works is the Mother and Child, the Changge, and the Madonna and the Slum. Next is Jose B. Blanco. He known as moralist and national artist. artist. He was the part Patriarch of the Blanco family and is one of the well known art artists of Angono Rizal. He was fond of using earthly colors. His works is the Angono Town Fiesta, Magtata Heap, and the Carabao Car. And next is Victoria C. Edades. He known as the father, father of modern Philippine art. Recognized for revolution, revolutionizing the art of modern painting, his painting colors were dark and somber. He used dark tones and heavy brush strokes. His work is the wrestler, the wrestler, the builders, and the sketch. Next is Prudential B. Lam Lamariro Lamarosa, also known as King of His Canvas, Filipino artist known for his hyper. Hyperrealist and surrealistic landscape paintings. He is famous for his Amborayan Queen series, which consists of paintings that defect a protective mythological spirit. His work is the Bayside and the Green Heart. 
Next. Next is Manuel de Valdemar. A painter, sculpt, sculptor, printmaker, and graphic designer. He loved to paint the scenery and lifestyle of the town's people. In Laguna, an international scene and landscape, he is best known for his paintings in Paris Media, the use of geometric form with a folk art character. So it is it is the Munting Nayon Starry 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 Night and la, next Juan M. Arellano a painter and architect designing the Suning planning in Manila City as the as well as the design of the Metropolitan Theater and the old legislative building now the National Museum. He made a very impressive zoning plan of the tropics. One of his work is the Pareja de Floreros house in San Juan. One point perspective one-point perspective in landscape drawing. Artists use one-point perspective to show form, form space on. Most lines are vertical, horizontal, orthogonals, orthogonals drawn to a simple vanishing point. One-point perspective in landscape drawing. So we have here the one point perspective in landscape drawing so how to draw using one point perspective drawing first turn your paper horizontally next line the end of your ruler up with the side of your page see to it that the ruler is, is straight 3. Draw a horizontal line 1 or 2 inches down from the top of the page to get your horizontal line. D number 4. Draw a dot in the middle of your horizontal horizon line to be your vanishing point. Next, draw a, a square or rectangle on the right or left bottom of the page. Next, connect three corners of your rectangle or square to the punishing point. These lines are called orthogonals. Next, draw a horizontal line between the two or orthogonal, orthogonals on the top where you want your form to end. Next, draw a vertical line down from the horizontal line to complete the side. And erase or remove the remaining orthogonals. And now, the picture will now rebuild a 3D form. So, here is the, one of the example of the one-sided perspective drawing. So let's have a summary. summary. Painting is the practice of applying paint, pigment, color, or other medium to an artwork. And important Philippine natural and historical places. We have the rice terraces of the Philippine Cordilleras, Cordilleras Landscape of Batanes, Palau Cave, Old Houses of Taal Batangas, Turugan in Marawi, Pawai Church, Miagao Church, and now the Filipino painters. We have Fabian C. De La Rosa, Fernando C. Amorsolo, Carlos P. Francisco, Vicente S. Manansala, Jose B. Blanco, and 
that's all for today. Thank you and keep safe. Bye-bye.